well, uh, I should have said previously on Twilight Princess HD, but whatever. What's up, guys? My name is Dr. Kazraz. Welcome back to Twilight Princess HD. Uh, last time, we were doing some awesome snowboard racing against Yeta and Yeto in uh, Snow Peak, and now we're in the uh, Sacred Ruins again. Except this time we're uh, human. So uh, that's cool. We'll have to do the same puzzle over again and uh, fight the Skull Kid, but this won't be hard though. It's not that challenging. It's like basically like last time. Just like last time, and I'm sorry, I don't know why I constantly say my name every time I start up this series when I basically show my name in the beginning. I'm not sure if that annoys people or not, but I'm just, it's just like a, a thing I do. I'm just stuck in the flow. But, uh, now, with this... Oh, yeah. Let's see, it's, bit, it's just like last time, like I said. We just gotta chase him down through the woods, follow the noise where it's loudest, or the light. Hit him with the sword, and then he'll open up a new path for us. Also, we gotta deal with these guys, too. But they're probably a lot easier to deal with with a sword, so... Hey. If this is an RPG game, we'd get XP, so... If you want to, you could just avoid them. They're kind of useless. Oh, is that a Poe up there? How do I get up there? Gotta find a way. Oh. This is not... Hey! Okay, I knew that was gonna happen. Hurry! Uh, oh yes. Nice. I, I'm not sure if this was here last time, actually. So, it probably was. My apologies for not getting it! No, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, get away. Away from the edge, away from the edge. Come on, don't do that. That's kind of rude, dude. Give me that pole, soul. Hoo-ha! Oh, yeah, another pole, soul. How many is that? Wait, I want to check that out. How many is that? 25. I think that's what we needed to get. Nice. Oh, my God. Like, this game... It's definitely grind fest for rupees and poles. You know, honestly, I don't mind clicking the poles. They make it interesting. You know, not every game has a bad collecting system. Like, uh, what's it called? I don't really like the Skull Chilas and Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. That was kind of stupid. I really don't like that. And the rewards you get were pointless. I think my favorite collecting thing out of any other Zelda game uh, I think my favorite one would be Link Between Worlds. Collecting all the Mai Mai's is awesome. And actually, speaking of Link Between Worlds, I've been playing that a lot uh, lately with my friend. And uh, it's actually really... I fucking love that game. This game would probably be maybe my number two. Link Between Worlds would be my number one. I made a top five list before on my channel, but that channel was stupid. That channel made no sense at all. I definitely would change that list now, but I really can't have a favorite... The Link Between Worlds is definitely number one, though. That Link is honestly the coolest one. This one probably be number two. For sure. Number three, uh, Minish Cap. Because all those games are just great. Especially the Game Boy one. We need more games. I wish they would do D-Makes. Like, you know, I see a lot of games coming out with, like, three, uh, 32-bit art style or, like pixelated art style, but how come there's like no 64-bit art style? Like, what happened to the Ocarina of Time art style? You know, like the N64 kind. That was still good. I didn't hate that. I consider that its own kind of style. I don't know. I just prefer it. It just looked cooler. And I seen light. I see the light, Charlie. Head towards the light. Is he running, or is this just like a normal flash of light above? Oh wait, can I shoot him with a bow? Come here. Yeah, I can. I was gonna say, there's no way I'm making it up there. <sighs> pretentious. Gotta do this stupid stuff over and over and over again. Not pretentious, tedious. Sorry, wrong word. Wrong word I meant to use. See, I need a dictionary. You know, there's a thing. If I ever died, uh, people wouldn't discover bad things on my 
my search history. They just see normal common uh, words that I look up the definitions to. Like, how do I do the... What's this word mean? What's pretentious? What's tedious? Why do I use it so much? And what does it mean? I know what it means. I just don't know if you guys know what it means. So, uh, I'm not going to say the definition. Look it up. Oh, finally. Finally, we can go through here. Do the last fight. Wrap this stuff up. Because uh, I am sick and tired of doing this Lost Wood stuff. Wait, what? That wasn't the way to go. And actually, though, what's kind of cool is uh, when I walk... Oh, oh, I guess it was the right way to go. Which way? That way. Crap, I keep thinking this is Skyward Sword and I'm trying to run. That I don't know if that's a game I want to play on my channel. That game is really good. I, re I really uh, was considering playing it on my channel. I'm not sure. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not really too sure what I want to play next. Like, I know I shouldn't be talking about future plans. But, like, this game's going to wrap up soon. Like, if I wanted to, I could probably finish this game in about a mo this month, honestly. But, I mean, my Wi Fi is kind of slow. So it prevents me from uploading as much as I want to. So I usually record in bulk and then upload them like one video a week. At most. I know that seems like too too little, but I gotta, you know, gotta work with what I got. Not easy being cheesy. Okay. Um, my mic got stuck and I had to fix it. So uh, there's that. That's fixed. There we go. No more problems with that. You guys probably didn't hear that. But, uh, I did. So that's alright. Is he up here? I think he's up here. I think I've been going around. I think... He yeah, I hear him. I hear him. But I don't see him. Fuck. That motherfucker! He is here! I thought I was going... You know, I thought I was stupid. This piece of shit... This, I hate this area, honestly, the most. Like, the music's great. This is cool. This part sucks. I hate this part. <laughs> I'm sorry. This part always gets me messed up the most. Like, I always get lost here. But, you know, it, it, it is called the Lost Woods, so. It, it's, it's bound to happen. But, gee, I don't remember him hiding in the tree. Let's just be for real. I'm not saying I'm stupid, you know, I do know this game, like, the back of my hand. Ooh, that's, that's new. But, that, that part always gets me stumped. You gotta get stumped a lot in this game. Alright, whatever, Mr. Angry Jerk. Do you know what I had to deal with? I'm sick of your shit, Mr. Skull Kid. Uh, nice try. Shut your music up. I do like your little horn though. It looks little. It looks cute. I'm fast, boy. You know, alright, we're gonna take a minute to admire him before, you know, I accidentally kill him and don't even say anything. Uh, this guy right here is actually really cool because, uh, him and the Hero Shade are actually probably one of the most interesting characters in this game. And, well, it's, uh, for the fact that the Hero Shade is, in fact, the Hero of Time. So, well, actually the Forgotten Hero, since when, uh, if, you know... For those of you who don't know and have been living under a rock, uh, this game takes place in the child timeline. There's three Zelda timelines, and uh, they all split off in Ocarina of Time. So I played that game already on my channel. If you want to check it out, I played it before, so you can check out the whole series. I finished that game already. But uh, at the end of the game, Link goes back as a kid, and basically everything that he did in that game didn't happen. So he basically doesn't become the hero of time and becomes the forgotten hero. 
Hence the hero shade in this game. But uh, in between those two games, uh, Majora's Mask happens. And well, in Majora's Mask, there's a Skull Kid. And well, I have a theory that this, well, some other YouTubers too, that this Skull Kid is the same Skull Kid from Majora's Mask. I mean, it'd make it a lot of sense, you know. There's a Skull Kid protecting the Master Sword. Hero Shade is here. I mean, this Skull Kid isn't the same Skull Kid I know from Ocarina of Time. He's a little different. But I think the reason why he's different is because the lantern he carries. I think because he's undead. Kind of like, I mean, I guess Skull Kids were already undead. But this is like a, uh, a Poe version of Poe. I mean, the, a Poe version of the Skull Kid, if that makes sense. I mean, like, he has all of these guys, which are probably, like, Skull Kids, too. Or something weird like that. Well, okay, wait, what? I did not shoot you right there. That's weird. Hee <laughs> hee, that was fun. I'll tell you what. I let you into a secret place. Yep, that's why I didn't want to kill him because I knew he was one shot left from dying. But uh, yeah, he's um pretty cool. I think he might be Poe. I mean, one, probably one of the Poes we don't, probably one of the Pole souls we don't collect, which is uh kind of sad. I mean, it's alright though. We don't want to collect his soul. He's not a bad guy. Ah, uh, this place. We've been here before. Except we haven't been up here, though, before. So a lot of different things. But let's just push this block so that we can get up here again. There we go. Remember this place? This place is where we got the Master Sword. The Sacred Ancient Forest. So this is what they were talking about. Thanks, Fee. That looks really weird. A lot of self shading on this. <laughs> it looks really weird. Well, I hear sparkles. I'm not sure if we got that yet. I think we have. Now, uh, speaking of collecting things, uh, the bugs are kind of cool too. Like, I mean, I guess you do get a reward for, like, you know, the wallets, but you know, I feel like they could have been a little cooler. I mean, I guess I guess they're they are pretty cool. I do like, I like them. But like, never mind. <laughs> I was just gonna say you collect all of them right before you even like get to like your third dungeon. But you can basically do that with the uh, the my mice too, and I like those. I guess these are cool too. I guess the collecting in a uh, Twilight Princess is really cool. I like the bugs, the pose. They're all cool. The stamps kind of stupid. I don't really like that. Okay, well, we don't have to do the stupid puzzle again. Thank God for that. Thank Hylia for that. But, um... This is weird. This is, uh, where the Temple of Time used to be in Ocarina of Time. It's all destroyed now. It's kind of weird. Well, let's put this back. I don't want it. Um, okay. That was weird. I guess it's like a key. Please insert the key. Ba-ding! Alright, now let's go back. We walked all the way over. I knew something was up. I was like, why are they going to do this? Oh, now keys are showing up too? Oh my god, that was a lot. You ready, Minna? Wait, everyone get in here. Let's all have a party. Woo! Party! Oh no, there's another one! Shoot, there's so many here. Holy crap. Alright, everyone get together. Quick, everyone get together. Wait a minute. Oh my god. I'm a little white girl.
You all know where this was going. Where that almost went. Jeez. Alright. Thank you, Minna. Now that that's been taken care of, uh, let's get going. Uh, to see what that is. Because I guess it opened up a doorway. Or something, which is kind of weird, though. It, unless it's like Monsters, Inc. or something. But there's nothing on the other side of this. So, like, what the heck? That's a little strange. But uh, I honestly think we should wait till the next episode. So if you guys did like this and you want to see more Twilight Princess videos, by me, want to hit the like button and subscribe to see more Twilight Princess HD. Next time, we're going to be seeing, uh, what's the point of this thing right here? So I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye.